So we're back at Salamin here. I think we need to build proper disguise, yes. So for this part, I forgot to not cast light again. We're going all the way across the muggy plains. All this over to the stone pile here. Now this is a protection zone. So you can take off all of your... And it does help to not have... Not cast light. While you're here. Over this way. So I think I am going to let that turn down a bit. And you're supposed to do this with two people. I'm going to try to do it solo. Kind of curious. Okay. So this is where we want to use our disguise. Now... For this part here, once those eyes goes away and the door closes, you go across. Make sure the door closes, not just the eyes go away. Door close, go across, and just do one at a time. There we go. So now we are back here at the second part of the doors. Oh, oh, careful on that one there. Careful on this one. So which way do we need to go from here? And we are through. All right, so I think what I need to do is pop down a level, hit two switches, come back up here, snake through this. The lights are off for 30 seconds. You have 10 seconds for the wall. Wish me luck. Now turn off that light. Turn off that light. Come up here. Yeah, because we need those two lights off. Okay. Yeah, so it is... Down this way, up here. Over here, up this way. Wait, am I trapped now? Crap, I am trapped. Oh no, that's right, because that one switch turns off those two lights. Okay, so yeah, we do need to get caught and start back over. So yeah, I guess you will see the dialogue here. It is... Okay, hi, exit, no, yes, exit, no, yes, exit, no, yes, 278, exit, 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 ah, crap, 278, oh, that's why I'm hitting the wrong button, sorry, 278, there we go. And then exit, 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 exit. There we go. Now this is the real time we're gonna go through here. Second go at it, so we'll actually get through it. I'm not sure what. I want to try that again. I'm really curious to see what level it it has to be to actually get through through there in one go. It was a few years since I've done this, but now that I've done it a couple of times, I wonder, especially with how people power game. And this, like, people don't do quests until they're like three, four hundred levels. So maybe, maybe at like three hundred levels, this could be quite easy. But not at what? What do we do? This at two o two? Yeah, it didn't work at two o two. Got through, and then we're just gonna run right across here to the hideout. It's marked with the X on the map there. If you get there's some stuff in here you do get caught up sometimes but if you keep moving you can usually just run straight through it sees past here that you get that last little hallway but you don't really get boxed in you can 
but we had to run through it real quick. So we are now on to the second mission here. And you have to get all this stuff done here. We're going to open up the teleporter back to the other place, something like that. We need to speak with Shartian here, I believe. See what he has to say. Who sent you? Zalaman? Is that what his name was? Yeah, Zalaman. I think. There we go. We are able to help you. Better get started. Can you give him another mission, maybe? Ready to get something done? Yes, we are. What are you going on about here? Teleporter used to work. Doesn't work now. Do something about it. Here to the entrance. Okay. Okay, okay. We go down here. Into these rooms. And we start in... Okay, so yeah, come down the steps here, and we're gonna start in this room down here through the teleporter here. Get through all these doors. We're gonna start in the southest room that we can south, and somewhere we need to use our sneaky stabber of eliteness. We got some sacred earth. Next, we go to the other dirt room here in the center ish. And somewhere in here, we use the rake. And we get this lump of clay. Next, we go to the table. Which is... Ah, uh, here's the table. Here's this crack. And we use... We're going to use our obsidian knife. We can use our obsidian knife. No. No? Oh, okay. We're going to use our pick here. And then we use the obsidian knife on that piece of wood, and we get the bull. Next we go up to this north room here, and we get some water from here. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the other process here. So we use the sacred earth. We use the clay with the earth, and that gives us lump of sacred clay and then we use that on the bowl and then we use the bowl on the water to get the bowl of sacred water and then we go back to the first room and we use the bowl on the fire basin to get sacred coal and then we go all the way to the end and we use the coal on the water next to this thing here. And now we go back and turn this in. Back at Shorten, turn this mission in. Did you find the to restore it? Yes, we did. What does it say here? We need to establish a working supply line. So we have to go to go back to Zalaman. All the way back over here at Zalaman. Just to give him a mission. What do we need to find him, destroy him? Something about the garden. So, oh, we have to go kill that. Yes, we are. So, when we head out, we're over here now. When we head out of the hideout, we need to get over to this way here. Just gonna do it the old bucket style. So we're down here with, I think it's called the Keeper. We have our our poison something or another in that flask and we need to go up north here. Up here, now you're gonna have to use this on, um, I think you know, have to, I think you just have to use it a couple of times. You can use it on the same ones maybe. I think we end up just running around here and using a bunch of different ones just for funsies. And here's the keeper. 
So now we're gonna run these over this these bright green poison fields. 8,000 damage a time. That's gonna move. We'll run around, find the next guy. Then we will use the, we'll just use him and then we'll get the tail of the keeper. I think we head back to Zalaman now. Back at Zalaman. See what's our next mission gonna be. Tell so mission, oh, what they got? Three parts in something about, oh, deeper bait Nuda. Okay. We need 15k three parts of the scepter to buy and then we have to get to the bottom there and get the thing together. So we'll figure this out and we'll see you down Bay Nuda. Yeah, this is the second time I hit hit record and it unrecorded instead of start to record. Anyway, we started down here, Bay Nuda. So you come in, go over, down over there. Down there. This is the very first level. We're going to go to the first NPC now. So you go straight to the north. Can't kill them, didn't bring runes for them. So we'll try to get just through here. All right, so we're here at the first one, and uh, remember, remember better runes for those Eternal Guardian things or whatever they're called. Yeah, the Eternal Guardians. Don't do what I did. I think we just say hi, mission. Mission twice to this guy, I believe it is. Let's see here. Let's see, the Holy Scepter, is that what it's called? Yep. Mission again, yes, 5k. Got a first piece of the Scepter. Now to the next level. We'll just book it that way. All right, here at the second NPC now. He's just straight north to the steps to give him a mission, get a next piece, and head on down. Alright, so here at the third NPC, another high mission, and get the third piece. So we're gonna head on down to the next level, run right past, this is where we have to run past the ghastly dragon here, if you don't want to kill her, but 
Hopefully we can just run on right past her. Alright, so we're down here. This is the final level. And we need to go all the way to the northeast and back down. So I think we're going to summon our guy in here and get, uh, get ready for this. So we're just going to fight our way there and then we'll run, run right our way out. It's not so bad getting through here. There are a lot of Medusa, so be ready for that. There's quite a few Soul Eaters too that, um, all together they can do a little bit of damage if you don't have enough hit points. They're not too bad. Down here in the final room, all that cleared out. You stand here, flip the switch, flip her back, and you have yourself a snake scepter. So we're gonna dip Skibbity out of here, and we'll see you back at where whoever we gotta go talk to. So if you're at your, your money, you can dip out here. Otherwise, good luck getting out the other way. Back at Zalaman now. Give him the old mission. Give him the scepter. Give him a moment. Give, it, give him another mission. Here your office. Something about Great Gate. Overcome stuff, Emperor, get close to him. Something about a city of dragons. He'll give you next instructions, cool. Over here at the Gate Guardian, give him a mission. You want entrance? Yes, we do. Thank you. Now we need to go over here somewhere. So down this way. Over up here. In here. Over. Where is. Okay, so here's Slack over in the corner. 
This is the next person we get a mission from. Oh my goodness, all the way they... I don't understand anything that he's saying. Something about bureaucracy. So we need to kill some... Magistrates? Is that what we... I think it's in the quest log. What quest? Yeah, Wrath of the Emperor. Kill four magistrates. Oh, these magistrates here. So they're just in this building here, just to the north of our guy we take from, and they they take a beating to, to knock down. It's not very like hard to do this. It just takes takes some time to get these things to actually drop. I ended up thinking I killed six of them. I was only supposed to kill four, maybe it was. So that would have went a little bit faster if we would have just read the manual to begin with. Okay, so you only needed to kill four lizard magistrates. We need to kill six nobles. Alright, so outside. Or. Outside or on the topmost floors, it says. Wait, outside? Yeah, outside the ministry building or the top. So yeah, you have to go through. Is through this door here. Clear your pathway here. This isn't this isn't very uh wide hallway here, so kill our way through. We're just gonna head to the buildings over to our left. It's ultimately where we're heading. There's two buildings. We're just gonna there's three of them that spawn in two buildings on the top floor. By the time you kill the one, the other ones are back. So it works out fairly well for you. Then you don't have to deal with killing too many of these. So you do have to kill them all out of your way.
right, one more of these guys. Wrong way again. Excuse me, fellers. Here. Back at Zerk. Zerk, Zack, Zlack. Back at Zlack. Give him a mission. Your next mission, strike the heart of the empire. Mission again. Your energy killing bloodshed is you attack the palace. So somewhere underground part of the palace. Awesome. So for the next part, you need a team. And we got a team. So we're going to run through this. I have this all on time lapse. So we're just going to go over a little bit of what goes on here. So we're going to run through here. We're going to run all the way down to the basement. There is a secret, secret door there. Go down here and then there's eventually a switch somewhere. Kill your way through all of this stuff here. Getting there, getting there. So this is where you all, you can all just pal right onto there. Everybody just stack on there. You can use the lever. Everybody comes on through. And now we're down into the... I don't know what this is actually called down here. Some sort of castle. This is the basement, maybe? I think this is the basement. It gets kind of harder, and then it gets easier. And then the last floor is... I wouldn't say it's the hardest, but there's the most stuff there. You can ignore... Ignore the harder parts of it, though. If I remember right. At some point here where you do go the wrong way on one of these floors, it's easy to do. Probably gonna do it one time when you go, so don't uh, just plan for that, I would say. Because I think every time I've done this, I've gone the wrong way. I used to just hunt here, so I used to just come down and run through here one time real quick. And even then, it would still go the wrong. Everything kind of looks alike in some of the spots. Here's level 203. Forgot we got that here. There is a there's a fair amount of charm points you can gather up running through here. A lot of good loot in, in here as well. Um, and I just saw it come through on the loot there and I forgot to mention it. Tale of Corruption. We have two of them in our inventory. Bought a couple of them. You're gonna want to... You don't really need to buy them beforehand. I did just because... Just to make sure I had some. But they'll, when we get to the end here, you'll see what those are used for. Starting to get close here. Once you start getting to these fire levels. And the, the head on that mount that I have, that, it makes me laugh every time I see it. And I've been watching it on this, this 4X fast forward of it, and it just looks so much goofier. I finally got the stamper mount on this guy, but I need to get some other, something more, uh, more better than this. So I've always wanted the ladybug. I forget what you need the four. I forget how you get the four-leaf clover. I mean, I think that's what you need the four-leaf clover, or the manta ray. I want all the ones that are like there's no chance of them. I'm getting them. I think I'm gonna try to get the walker here soon. We're getting close to the bottom. We are getting real close to the bottom here. There's abominations. Those abominations can can whack you good, but it's those spell weavers that 
I'm pretty sure it's those spell weavers that will get you just out of nowhere. Oh uh, yeah, so here, now we're into the protection zone. This is the final, final spot. So we talk to this guy here, give him the old classic mission, 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 and then we're gonna go to the east through that teleporter. And I think that's where we talk to the sleeping dragon. We'll find out here in a moment. Sleeping Dragon. So there's a whole bunch of lists of north, south, east, and west you gotta go through and pick up sapphires and gems and stuff, so see this. So you're gonna say hi to him, then you're gonna say that solo quest destiarian to him. It's in your quest log, you'll see it. Take the attachments, go east, go south, take stand east, take model, take emeralds, west, north, east. Take rubies, north. Use attachment, take mirror, north. Use model, south, south, west, west, north, west. Take sapphire, east, south, east. Use stand, use ruby. Use sapphire, use emerald, use mirror. Mission, high, mission, yes. And then you should get uh, whatever we just got there. You get, I know you get the spirit trauma. Do we get something else? Some paper or something there? No, oh, I don't know. And then you can come back. You need to come back and speak this guy pretty sure. And then we're gonna go back again to the other. We realized our power. Yeah, that's something about something about proven stuff still. I think, not sure. Or clockwise through the room. So this is the... We're gonna go up past here, then this is um, where we start with the bosses. And you wanna put that replica of your scepter onto a hockey there, just to make it easier for you. Now in here there's ghastly dragons and abominations are in here. It's a good place to hunt for uh, an undead dragon too. Good place to hunt, if you ask me. A lot of good good loot options. So this is the scorn of the empire. Knock him down. Use your scepter on it. Head back on through. More undeads, more uh, Drake and Abominations. Looks like there's a couple undeads through here. What is this one? Spite of the Emperor we're working on now. Knock that down quickly. Use the Scepter and move on. And we're gonna keep going. Couple more Ghastlies here. Keep going around through here. A bunch of undead dragons there. And then we have the Fury of the Empire here. Not the Empire, Emperor, sorry. Acting like a Star Wars around here. It's more undead dragons. Oh, a Divine Plate. I probably looted that. That's proper loot right there. More undeads. And then we are on to. That was that grew there. Wrath of the Emperor. That one again. Knock it down quickly there. Use your scepter on it. Move on. To... Oh, no, that was the last one. For that part there. Now we need to talk to the awareness. Awareness of the Emperor. We'll say hi. We'll say mission. And then this will be the final boss then. By several incarnations. Then use a the thing. Be prepared to fight. Yes, we are. So now we're here in something. You gotta pile into this room here. And then hop onto that switch. Sprout out a little bit. And he spawns Snake God Essence. Knock it down. Snake Thing is up next. 
can this has some hit points on it but lizard abomination still with the hit points just keep just keep slinging them at her she'll knock her down then we are at the mutated Salamon. There is that guy. You use your scepter on to his body now. And that will give you the achievement, God Slayer. And now for the uh, turn it in and go get the reward. Pick up the outfit and the other stuff. Head through the correct teleporters up here. There you go, straight to the north. Keep going north through that path there. And then this is where, keep going down. Do you gotta go up here? Yeah, 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 you gotta go up here. And then to the south, and then you can come through here and speak with. It is. Is it's just whatever that is. High mission to this guy. Another mission. It's elite armor filled with blah 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 blah. Oh, the old supply seller. I am flattened, but please leave now. Tend to support my business. Okay. So now we need to head all the way down to the basement. That's where we'll pick up our rewards. Here in the basement, you get your. You gotta pick up. You gotta get your jewel pack back from the chest. And then I think there's a bag in the next one, maybe. Under plats, five of them, ten of them, 100k. Yeah, the other one has the Black Jade Cobra. I think these are all the same price. I think I ended up grabbing the. I think I ended up grabbing the night one here. If I remember right. Oh, capacity. We don't have any. Still don't have enough. There we go. And then we have to go, go over to... And then you have to go over to the wardrobe and grab that. Let's check out what the Wayfair. And there is the Wayfair outfit. So we will. And we all for this one here. We will do the, the add ons for this in one of the next couple of videos. I've been planning on doing them. I've been running around up in that area. So we should get, get cracking on those. So anyway, this was Wrath of the Emperor. Thank you for watching, and we will see you later.